anyway I've just heard some squeaking going on it could just be a bit of dust in the brakes but it's just serves a purpose to check the wheels um, and and while we're kind of on like compacted ground hey yeah, yeah so I've just jacked it up um, obviously I'm just giving a check there's a little bit of give I'm just gonna have a look at the castle knot and see if it needs a bit of tightening and also check out the situation with the wheel bearings and lubrication it should all be good because we had it changed over um, and then I'm just going to go around and do the nuts and just make sure the torque, with the torque wrench that they're all what it should be. Um, and I'll do that to the other side and then at least peace of mind for when we do leave here on Thursday or Friday. So, so right now this is a bit of a uh, handy bands. Well, you got to work with what you got. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is my bit of bush kit and just taking off the cover cap at the moment and I'm just going to have a look at the castle nut. You just want to be careful, um, obviously dusty area and stuff, you don't want to get dust and crap into that because it's, it's going to create problems. Um, so this crash pad bag um, just gives me a bit of a clean area for now, um, so I can just have a look and see if it needs a bit of tightening. Um, I'm just going to put on some gloves too so I don't put stuff in there. So at least I've got it open and I think the biggest thing from anyone that knows me is um, I have to slow myself down patience is a thing that I'm not well gifted for um, so I take my time with this and be real methodical because you don't want to stuff this up Hinge is hard at work there <laughs> supervising She's support crew. <laughs> Site supervisor. Thank you. The other thing you can do while you've got it um, jacked up is just rotate it and check for brake drag, which is something we had. You'll feel resistance and that will also create heat. It'll also create heat in, the, uh, in your wheel arches or your, your mag wheels as well. So you'll feel that. Um, we got it. You can, if you know what you're doing, you can do it yourself and correct it. Um, I'm not going to play with brakes. Uh, we took it to a mechanic and they sorted it for us. It was out of alignment. Uh, much better after that. Uh, yeah, so that's your pin there. Um, now I've just taken it out and tightened one notch on that. Because uh, obviously you don't want it overly tight, you especially don't want it loose. And now it's it stopped the wobble, there's a slight wobble on that wheel. That's pretty much perfect, so I'm going to put it back in and bend that back. Um, the lubrication and everything looks really good in there. And obviously we got it recently done. Um, so there is a bit of give. You do want to check your um, wheels after you get wheel bearings replaced and stuff like that. I'd probably, well, it's up to you how often you check. Um, we've done probably 200 to 300, maybe a little more case. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, since it's the definitely last time. Check. It's, it's well due, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to put that back in. I'm going to bend it back over. I'm going to close it up, leave it as is. Then I'm just going to use a torque wrench and make sure all the nuts are nice and firm um, and yeah
That's just a hub cover. It's nothing special in here. It's pretty yeah, cheap. But there's only two pins or two screws that actually hold that in place. Uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're over the other side. Um, so with that, the castle nut just needed to go one more notch. Um, and then I'll put the ricotta pin back in. Made sure everything's nice and neat. Uh, try and make sure it's not as dirty or dirty in there or anything like that, not getting dust in. Um, I've closed it up. Uh, and then I've just checked the wheel nuts as well, make sure they're all tight. Um, now to do the other side. So I went out and got a 10 ton working, um, 10 ton limit bottle jack. Um, this is what I wanted to go. Not so much that I'm gonna use 10 ton, but it was the extension side. So I've got a higher, I can actually alter it and have a higher lift, uh, especially on uneven surfaces and stuff. Uh, one of the things you can use if in like beach or somewhere soft, you can put max tracks, double max tracks, and put that as a base platform. Um, we've also got a piece of wooden block in there if I need to have a, an extra piece of surface area underneath. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go jack this one up and check it out too. just have a look at all the nuts and bolts while I'm under there um, I haven't actually jacked it up yet I've just got the pressure on it um, I'll start jacking it up but obviously have my body outside of it in case something collapses or goes wrong um, even though the wheel's still on there's obviously springs in this and um, or shockies and I don't want to get the brunt so just enough to spin it and Maneuver it. Yeah, so just enough to um, freely maneuver. Yeah. Um, a good thing you can do too is check the handbrake. So um, I could put the handbrake on and make sure that this locks in, um, just so you you know everything's tight and working. Um, right now I want it free, obviously. <laughs> So, yeah. Bit of wobble. This, is, this one's a bit better than the left side. Um, I'm still going to take it off and have a look, and I'll probably just do that castle lava just slightly. Um, there's still, you can hear, if you come in real close, there's a bit of wobble in there, just ever so slightly. Um, that's not, not horrible, but it's not great. It's only going to get worse. Um, so, yeah, just tighten it up and make sure it's all good. Uh, yeah, so all good. Um, so I'll just tighten that one too. Uh, both castle nuts could just go a little bit more. Um, obviously you don't want to over tighten them um, and you certainly don't want them under. So yeah, just went slightly more, put the uh, pin back in. Um, all the lubrication's looking really clean and uh, still the same blue, like high quality color. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. And then I've just checked the nuts around it, around the wheel as well. Um, so yeah, we'll drop it down and basically set up for a time here. So it gives me a bit more peace of mind. And then I may, during the week, check the car. Yep. Cheers. Add. <laughs>